Today I'm going to be showing you how to make homemade fair corn dogs. My kids love corn dogs and they eat multiple at a time. And we were burning through those state fair corn dogs you can buy in the freezer section like crazy. And it got so expensive, I decided to try it myself. So here we're going to get started by emptying a full bottle of oil into a pot and getting that on high heat. We're going to gather our ingredients, 24 hot dogs, a cup and a half of yellow cornmeal, a cup and a quarter all-purpose flour, one quarter cup granulated sugar, one tablespoon baking powder, one quarter teaspoon salt, one and three quarters cup buttermilk, or if you're like me, you make buttermilk by mixing a little bit of vinegar and regular milk, one large egg, one tablespoon olive oil or vegetable oil, one tablespoon honey, a full bottle of oil to fry, and sticks. So again, preparing my buttermilk, I don't have buttermilk, I just mix about a teaspoon of vinegar with regular milk. Okay, so for corn dogs, the first thing I like to do is get all the, the hot dogs out of their packages. They're kind of that moisture on them, they're shiny, they've got that wetness to them. We want the corn dog piece to be as dry as possible so that that batter will stick. So I like to get all those out, and then I have these, these are just skewers that you can buy. I think I bought a hundred pack for a dollar at the Dollar General or at Walmart or something like that. Um, and they've got the pointy ends so that you can load them up with food for the grill. But I just snap off the pointy end and I use that to just slide into the middle and it leaves a little handle. And then I set them on a paper towel to let them kind of dry out. So I like to do this step first before I make the batter because the air drying can be really helpful as well. So I'm going to get these all loaded up, and then once they're loaded up, we'll pat them dry a little bit and make the batter. Okay, so now we're going to put everything together. So we're going to get our flour. And our cornmeal. And our sugar. And get that nice and mixed together first. We want to make sure this is well combined before we add the wet ingredients and the leavening ingredients. That looks pretty good. All right. So now that that's all mixed together, our next step is to add our salt and our leavening. So for salt, we need about a quarter teaspoon. And for our baking powder, we need about a tablespoon. And get that all mixed together. Once that's kind of coming together, now we are ready to add our wet ingredients. So we will add in our egg. And we will add in that buttermilk, or if you're like me, your milk and vinegar mixture. Start with those two items first, and then we'll add the honey at the end. Now, as soon as you start getting your baking powder wet, that's when it's going to start activating. And it won't stay active forever, so you can't do this like way ahead or anything. You want to do this right when you're just about ready to dip those corn dogs and put them in the hot oil. You want to try to get out as many of those big lumps as you can and make sure that the egg and the egg white are all mixed in well. That's looking pretty good. 
Now we can add in our honey. Again, the recipe calls for one tablespoon, but my husband always tells me it doesn't taste honey enough, so I always add in a good deal. I'd say two to three <laughs> tablespoons to try to accommodate him. And we'll mix it again. And that's our batter. So next we have to put this in something nice and tall so that we can coat the long, uh, long hot dogs. So I'm going to get just a kitchen glass. And I'm going to pour it in. Maybe about three quarters of the way full. And that's what we'll start with. Now, before we want to start dipping our corn dogs, we want to make sure that our oil is hot enough. So we're going to go check that out. Okay, so we are checking the temperature here on our oil and we want it to be right around 350 degrees. I'm checking it now and I'm getting it at 360. So we are good to go. I'm just going to turn the heat down a little bit so it doesn't keep getting hot, hot, hot. It just stays at that temperature. And now here we've got our hot dogs on our stick. I'm just going to dip it into that glass and swirl it around. Make sure you get all the way to the stick. Pull it up and swirl it around a little bit. Make sure any big chunks come off. And then quick into the oil. And twist it around a little bit so it gets a little bit of a fry on it. And then you can, while that one's frying, get another one going. And I usually do about two or three at a time in here. Just keep rotating them so that they get brown on all sides. And don't worry about how much oil this is. You might be thinking, oh, that's a lot of oil and what a waste. That's kind of expensive nowadays. We are going to reuse this oil. Um, corn dogs is something that do not leave a big mess. Um, so you actually can, when this is cooled down, I like to put it right back in the bottle and I use it for all of my other frying needs like corn dogs or chicken or whatever I'm using it for. So you can see they're starting to get brown. Again, making sure I'm turning them around so that all ends are getting nice and brown. Sort of holding them below the surface like this. And it takes about, I'd say, two minutes for them to be done. So I'd say this one is done. And I'll take it out and I'm going to put it on a plate with some paper towels on it so that it can drain. Let's scoot them over here for a minute. So here we've got about three done. It took about two minutes to do three. So we've got 24. That means it's going to take us about I think half an hour or so to get these all fried up. So I'll get those done and show you at the end when we're all done. Okay, so I'm all done. I did all 24 that I had, plus I had three in an open pack in the refrigerator. So I made 27 today, but check this out. I've got three quarters of a cup full here, plus a little extra. So really I've got like a full cup left of the batter. I think you could definitely make another eight pack. So I would say that this recipe is good for 32. I don't have that many hot dogs today, so I'm just gonna end up getting rid of this, but uh, luckily everything in this is pretty cheap so if if you can use it all great but again you can't save it because it's got that baking powder that's already been activated and there you have your corn dogs i usually make these about once a month the kids power through them pretty fast and it's pretty simple to make them i hope you give this recipe a try and if you do let me know what you think thanks again for joining me and we'll see you next time